Okay, so let's look at another rotation problem. We're going to free body diagram. Sum the forces equals mass times acceleration. 30 kilogram slender rods being pulled by the cord. Um, if the rod has a counterclockwise angular velocity of 6 radians per second at the instant shown. And right now we're only looking at snapshots, just at this instant. Uh, because once we start moving things, our free body diagram is going to change. We're just looking at a free body diagram of this instant. I I'm going to draw a kind of completely separate new free body diagram. All right, determine the tangential and normal, hey, components of the reaction of the pin O and the angular acceleration of the rod. So what forces do I have on this rod before I forget? The um, weight, 30 times 9.81. I've got this 300 newtons. You know, if it's 300 newtons here, we can assume it's 300 newtons down here as well. Um, at this instant, is it is at a 0 0.6, 0 0.8. You see that that's a 3, 4, 5. All right, and what other forces do we have? The force of the pin. I like to do OX and OY, but I might just want to do O tangential, O normal. Uh, what direction is tangential? What direction is normal? Well, that direction is normal, and uh, you know, that it's moving that way with this um, angular velocity, it's going up. So I'm gonna draw it out here. Normal, tangential, right? Normal, tangential. All right, so here is my O normal and O tangential. Very similar to the last problem. So we can go through this one. This is 0 0.45, 0 0.45, right there, right at the middle. Oh, 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 wait, no, no, sorry. I drew this wrong, didn't I? This, sorry here, uh, this tension is not acting in the middle. The weight is acting in the middle, but this tension right here is at a 3, 4, 5 over here at 0.3 from here, 0.15 from the middle, 0.6 from the middle. Okay, there. That. Now, you know, draw your free body diagram. Make it good. Make it self-sufficient. I can look at this now, as long as I drew it correctly. I can look at this. I don't have to go back and look at the, the figure. I don't have to go back and look at the problem statement, except for this 6 radians per second. Um, so draw a good free body diagram. All right, now let us sum the forces in the normal direction. Normal is to the left. O, normal. And then uh, the, what, uh, three-fifths component of T equals, no, no, not, not equals zero, equals mass times A, normal. What is A, normal? A, normal is R omega squared. What is R omega squared? R is the distance that point G is from the center of rotation. In this case, 0.45 is R. And then omega squared right there. All right. I do know this tension was 300, so I could plug in 300. Okay, only one unknown. I can solve O normal 306 newtons. All right, so that's one answer. Summing the forces, summing the forces tangential. Sum the forces in the up direction, right? O tangential, the four-fifths component of the tension of 300 minus the weight equals M A normal. What is A normal? A normal is R alpha. Okay, that one has two unknowns. All right, here, let me sum the moments, okay? And before I get too far, what direction did I just define that one? I, I said that leads to tangential acceleration, tangential up. I just said that that alpha is counterclockwise. So let's sum my moments counterclockwise. All right, I can sum the moments about G or I can sum the moments about O. I'm gonna sum the moments about O. Uh, because that equation is given to us in the back of the book, one-third ml squared. All right, some of the moments about point O. OM goes straight through it. OT goes straight through it. The weight, 30 times 9.81, has a moment arm, 0.45, creating a negative moment. Now, this tension, uh, the three-fifths component would go straight through it, but the four-fifths component of 300 would have a moment arm of 0 
uh, and that would be positive. That would lead to a counterclockwise moment. All right, that's it. That, that's the only thing that creates a moment. And so this equals I alpha. I about point O is one third M L squared alpha. I can solve for that alpha, 1.43 radians per second squared. It came out positive in both, um, both of these two equations. My alpha was counterclockwise. So this is came out positive, so yes, counterclockwise, 1.43 radians per second squared. Plug that back in either, yeah, to right there, and get O tangential 73.6 newtons. So this problem, similar to some of the other ones, slender rod, drew a free body diagram, sum of the forces normal equals MA normal, sum of the forces tangential equals MA tangential, sum of the moments equals I alpha. Three equations, three unknowns that we solved for.